I'm Superman! <laughs> if you're really ready to watch this movie. Okay, popcorn? Check. Soft drink? Check. Warner Brothers ball cap? Aha! You can't watch a Warner Brothers movie without a Warner Brothers ball cap. I don't intend to pay for them in either case. You die! Batman, Superman, they're about to fight to the death. But what I want to know is, who had the best themed line cue? The Caped Crusader and the world's greatest detective have graced dozens of attractions all over the world. And holy inventory, maybe some of them were even decent? There was almost a Superman theme park in the 70s, but the gas crisis combined with Charo meant that it was never meant to be. Actually, the Spider-Man ride at Islands of Adventure was originally designed to be a Superman ride until DC and Marvel parted negotiations and things were left freeze levels of icy. Which one of these Titans theme park attractions were the most badass? And, well, Batman. All Superman rides are based on a similar blue and red roller coaster theme, which is really fun to write about. Let's see, we gotta build a ride off of Superman. Well, he can fly, we'll make him seem like they can fly! That's it! Why is the Superman dark ride so hard to come by? Where's our psycho pirate of the Caribbean? Nobody wants to see a scared animatronic Richard Pryor? It's super base. And someone's been injured on all of them. In real life, there are no heroes. Also, Superman's a little boring. Is there ever really anything at stake in a Superman movie? You see a plane going down, what do you think's gonna happen? I'll give this to old Soupy, though. He's more consistently banging than bat lips ever, ever, ever is. I'm no Superman. <laughs> Just compare Metropolis to Gotham, there's just more to look at, there's more going on. The Batman films are pretty set-based, so the Bat-themed boardwalk rides will often feature random Gotham garb on its Bat coasters. Get a little steampunk in the neighborhood. Paint the ride cars like giant pills that fly into a robotic Heath Ledger's mouth. Na 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 gift shop! This Batwing drop ride is a missed opportunity, though. You could have easily made this into Catwoman's Fall, complete with animatronic cats who take your picture at the end. Cause this here's the wildest ride in the wilderness. Six Flags seems to want to stump the growth of our favorite superheroes the most, with multiple shows throughout all their parks to varied degrees of success. This one from Texas, in particular, makes it look like the performers are exhausted. I'm taking it over when you know I can't. <laughs> hey, who's Batman to you? Like when you think of Batman, who's Batman? Are you kidding me? Christian Bale. Christian Bale. There's a newer stunt show at Movie World for those who like their Batman stunts a little more gritty.
Off the set, you prick! Why the are you walking right through? Ah, uh, da 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 da, like this in the background. What the is it with you? 87. Can we release this? Four. Their most accomplished album. I think they're undisputed masterpieces. Hip to be square. The song's so catchy. Most Anyways, this is riding hard, not show me your stunt. I find Batman rides guilty, like this Dark Knight coaster, of just taking a wild mouse and dropping bat shit on it. In 1992, Movie World opened this badass Batman ride where you even enter through Wayne Manor. Which offers you this chilling challenge to find a way out. <laughs> Down in the Batcave Command Center, it's time for Gotham's greatest hero, Batman Return. Batcave Command Center and figure so separate. We are apparently Batman's bat backup in our Bat Body Wars vehicle thing, which is an odd choice. We ride in a motion simulator with new film footage from Tim Burton's Batland set. Asshole! We're then confronted by the Red Triangle Gang, who are trying to occupy Gotham's financial district or something. But Bruce Wayne's custom coupe is loaded with surprises. Batman returns. Bruce Wayne figure included with custom coupe, other figures sold separately. Batman makes a classic entrance and sends the Penguin flying back to his Arctic hideout. Surprise, Penguin! Is that a Penguin? I'm afraid so. Gotta fly! We then pass what appears to be some little cameos or something and then chase the penguin to a more Burton-y side of town. Meow. My dear penguin commanders, the time has come to punish Batman! Pity penguins can't fly. Batman returns. We then murder the penguin, killing him with fire like the freak he is, and come to a crash as Batman flies off to meet some new random boring blonde bitch. Hang on! I've never landed before! Turbine. Stand by. In 2001, the Bat Ride was rebat furbished into Batman the Ride 2, which is a computer animated amalgamation of every Bat incarnation thus far. It's Batman in the Invincible Hoverbat! No contest! Capture so Claw! And so on and so on and so on and on and on and on and then you get it, you get it. We all get it. It's great. Hey kids! Batman! Don't! What? Joker! Ah! Target practice! <laughs> this was just a diversion. They must be after the Whitney Diamond. Well, this window probably has an alarm system on it. Ah, my assistant Beaker will check it out. Is out of the bag. Batman doesn't dance anymore. It's Mr. Freeze! Behold, I bring you great tidings of joy! Come on, hurry up! Voila. I was gonna complain that Mr. Freeze sounds crazy scary out of character, but at least he isn't making any ice puns, so I'll shut up. We then bounce down the statue in a way that has no logic except on a rock. So, uh, you guys like to party? Good work. Thanks for helping put Gotham's most wanted back behind bars. And learn how to drive. Yuck. We'll be right back. Look! The Batmobile! Follow it, Dad! No. 
Now you can get a Batman car and make down yeah. the yeah. Oh no! Penguin's Roadster. One toy with each Happy Meal you buy. The bat is dead. Bury it. Cool new Superman toys are now at Burger King. You can get one with every kid's club meal. The best attraction based on the Batman and Superman worlds is the Justice League ride. Here at Movie World's Justice League Alien Invasion and Six Flags Battle for Metropolis, we enter the Hall of Justice itself, complete with scary CGI Joker, and wow, one sexy secretary. I build and design hot tubs. We then board super buggies and use laser blasters to shoot alien starro spores and at Superman's junk. This ride uses a good amount of everything, from animatronics to 3D film to some other surprises. Plus, we finally get a real-life Joker who unloads right in our face. You uh, are my favorite kind of audio animatronic. Our icy levels are low, Superman! <laughs> well, with both properties about to go full throttle down our super throats, maybe there's some hope for old soupy pants yet. Don't be afraid to use your nails, boys! <laughs> Somebody gave me this Batman credit card. Meow. Yeah.